Hello my friends and family. My name is Dennis and today I show you how to make a track like this. Hi. I am kidding guys, I am showing you how to make a track like Kashmir. I recreated my favorite track of him called Power, and I show you very detailed how I made it. Let's get started. At first as always I recreated the melody and chords with a piano to get the foundation of the track, so we can build a badass track later on. As we have the melody and the chords, it's time to make a badass track my people. Here are the 10 layers that are building the chords. I took some different sounding presets of my progressive house preset pack to give the chords the muscular body. After that I took a few lead sounds to fill up the gaps a bit. And then, I took two pianos to give the chords more warmth. This is how they sound together. Now we are coming straight to the bass. It's formed out of one sub bass and seven different mid basses. For the mid basses I took out the low frequencies. This is how they sound together my ladies and gentlemen. Then I took these two plucks to fill up the track more. Then as always, I took a cello from Nexus and strings from Edire All Orchestral to give the track a bit background harmonics. Then, I took a nice sounding pad of my progressive house preset pack to make the atmosphere thicker. Now we are coming to the lead. As you know of the original track of Kashmir, the leads sound very huge and strong. So I made 8 different layers of lead who are building one thick sound. This is what they sound together. After I listened to the track, I noticed that I have to fill up the background of the leads a bit more. So I created these kinda leads to make it even stronger and powerful. Then my guys, I made these lovely sounding arp. What do you think of it? After that, I took the Hollywood brass sound from Nexus and gave the main hits a stronger punching attack. After I listened to my track a bit, I decided to make the leads even stronger again, so I took a few more kind leads and put huge reverb on top. And now my fellas, this is how I processed the drum loop. Now we are coming to the build up. I am honest here with you guys. For the build up I was kinda lazy on this one. I just took a few uplifter sounds and built up drums. Plus I automated the lead melody and chords with a top filter. For the drum fill I took a drum fill sound, a sub drop sound, a reverse crash and a sweep transition. And now my people, we are on the finish line in under 5 minutes. Isn't it that great? Before we listen to the track I have to tell you that you can get all the presets I used on this track in my progressive house preset pack on my self I store. 
You also get the FLP of this project and two more professional sounding progressive house FLPs. Link in the description. Now we are listening to the final track.